Hello, everybody. Good evening. Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, teacher. How are you today? Fine, thanks. Fine, how, thank you. How was the weekend? Huh? Good. Good, good, good? Yeah, pretty good. Oh, okay, that's great. That's nice. Sounds like if you... How fascinating. Okay. So that was... Since it was an interesting, interesting weekend, yes. right? Okay, good. Anything good that you did? Something amazing? Something exciting? Or just uh, relaxing? Relaxing. Relaxing, right? What yes. is something relaxing that we usually do is probably watch a nice movie, right? Yeah. Uh, for those who like uh, football, on Friday we have football, right? Yeah. Uh, Milan versus Juventus. And on Saturday, it was uh, Barcelona versus, I don't remember, the cafe, yes, right? And then we had also Real Madrid on Sunday. So, you know, if you like soccer, so you had some, you know, distracting also, and no, probably relaxing, relaxing uh, activity to do, different from the other ones. Okay, everyone, what do we have for today, if you remember? Uh, we finished the story, the story with the four uh, adjectives. Oh, I don't know. Yes, yeah, no, no. Exactly right. Uh, that's same homework. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, homework with the. Uh, let me see. If we can see if he are. Okay, what's this one? Um, hi, good evening. Hey, hello, how are you? Everything fine, and you? All right. Excellent. I, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so we have a here learning exercise. How did you like it? Vocabulary opinions. Ah, but this one was. Let me see if it is not too slow. For you to work it out, yes, this were the you ones, must right? make a chart okay. on your notebook like this. So go ahead, listen, and place the synonyms properly. Make sure you ask your teacher to double check. Or okay, good. So now these were some stories. I told you, you know, to use at least one adjective from each uh, group. Okay, or not necessarily, but at least to to talk, you know, about um um. A story created by yourselves using your creativity and the freedom, right? To, you had the freedom to do it any way you wish. Okay, so we need a volunteer. Okay, who wants to start? Come on, guys, don't be shy, okay? Me, teacher. Okay, Sergio, very good. Go ahead. <clears throat> okay, a, a couple of years ago, me and my family made a fabulous trip to Guatemala City. It is disgusting to travel by bus because you cannot make your own schedule. So the adventure, the adventure was made using our car. The car was driven by, <coughs> driven by me and fantastic photos were taken by my son. Fortunately, we have not any not problem during the trip. I was speeding the car when the city showed up suddenly. I was tired at this moment. It, it is unusual that I drive a car for several hours without rest, but I was interested in visiting the exciting La Aurora Zoo 
to see some weird and odd animals. Uh, go to Paseo Calle La Mole and eat its outstanding Vesuvio pizza. I felt a little silly because I didn't know the addresses in Guatemala, but Waze is marvelous and it drove us to all our destinations. My sons and wife face a unusual climate, climate in there. They felt a lot of cold, but everyone enjoyed the trip. Excellent, very good, right? Yes, actually, you know, Waze is a great tool, you know, for traveling nowadays. It helps yeah. a lot. That's it. Okay, Sergio, Sergio, thank you very much. It was a okay. nice story. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. Okay, good. Anybody else? Okay, everyone, come on, don't be shy, okay? Yes, Me don't teacher. worry. Practice, practice. Me, teacher. Who? Jorge? Yes. Okay, Jorge, go ahead. Okay. Uh, at the beginning the, of quarantine, when they were wearing a mask, I feel somewhat ridiculous. Uh, I thought that I was all. But seeing how terrible the coronavirus was, I got used to wearing it. Uh, I no longer felt silly. It would to be marvelous if the quarantine will, will be ended and that in the end, they will find the cure for the initial virus. 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 Yes. Finish. Do you think? When yeah. do you th do you think they will find it soon? The the vaccination for the the vaccine for the for the virus. Yes. Yeah. Do you think that they will find it? This year or next year? They, we find the cure, the first the national virus. Okay, next year or this year? What do you yeah. think? This year. Oh, this year. Yeah. Hopefully, right? Hopefully. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. Anybody, anybody else who wants to share, uh, who wants to share uh, the story? It's just. Okay, Gio, very good. Go ahead. Okay. I went last night from visiting my aunt and in the way back home, there was a dreadful accident in the highway. There were about five cars involved. I didn't see anybody hurt, but anyway, we came home a little nervous. So we decided to watch a movie, a comedy by the way, Dumb and Dumber. And I have to say that it's a really silly but hilarious movie. Then I suddenly received an initial message. I mean, initial because of the hour it was quarter to 12 p.m. And the, me the message said, there is no class tomorrow, so you can get up late, the teacher. <laughs> Man, in my world, these are marvelous news. Okay, very That's good. That's it. That's <laughs> it, excellent. So unusual, but nice uh, message that you got. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, very nice story, you know, with a lot of sequence too. Okay, excellent. Good guys. Very good. Anybody else? Come on, come on. Go ahead. Okay, Eric, you have yours. Don't tell Teacher, me. You're, really don't, is, don't, I, don't tell me you're not ready. Ah, oh, come on. You can't believe it. <laughs> huh? Yeah, I I do it. Uh, the the exercise at platform and I complete the okay. mirror exam, but okay. I did it. Sorry, That's sorry, okay. sorry. Be always ready, man. Okay, good. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, right, no problem. Okay, good, excellent. Okay, uh, let me see, Jessica. How about you? Jessica, Jessica, hello. Jessenia, are you there? Ah, yes. Ah, oh, but just coming in. Yes. Okay. Hi. How are you? Good. Uh, did you do the homework? Did you prepare your story using adjectives? Uh, no, I I didn't in class. Uh, ah, Thursday. yes, you were not. You were not in class. class. Yes, yes, I can't. Class. Okay, good. Uh, and are you ready? Okay. Carla, are you ready? Oh, hey, Jaime, Jaime. Okay, go ahead. 
Uh, okay. Last weekend was very horrible for when my daughter and I were going to the Monte Cristo forest. I heard an unusual noise under the car, but marvelously, it was just a plastic lure to the tire. Okay, a, a stuck to the tire, right? Okay, very good. Yes, yes. Nice story, nice story, good. Okay, so, but you were scared for a moment, right? Scared. Yes, uh, because, because we, we, I think, oh my, my, my car is, is broken. Correct, correct. So it's broken. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Okay, Carla? I didn't. Okay, you didn't do it. Okay, no problem. Don't worry. Sorry. Okay, it's okay. But listen to the others so that you can have an idea, right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, anybody else who can participate or who wants to participate? Yeah, Sergio. teacher. Oh, okay. Oh, Ronnie's here. Yes. yes. Okay, Ronnie. Okay. Okay. Um, it's very nice. Uh huh. Yes, tell me. Okay. Today the traffic was terrible for me because there were many ve many vehicles and the road was closed. I was in my car for three hours to no. get home. I was too. It was too much for me. I was angry and tired and hungry. <laughs> yes, <laughs> and and that's true, huh? I, I, I yes, I I arrived about thirty minutes on, on my home. Can't believe it. The and history. which which yes, and which road was closed, Ronnie? Uh, uh, after Saltepeque. Que Saltepeque. Ah, yeah, because there is only one. Que between Opico, because mm -hmm. the 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 Cachorros Road is was mm, peor. It was crowded, right? It was. It was worse. It was worse. Yes, yes, it was worse. And I'm is my my best option was the Quetzal. Oh my God, that's terrible. Yeah. And 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 yes. the Saltepec right now is uh, uh, they are fixing the. Yes, uh, I, ha I have to room, right? I have to go to downtown, the Quetzaltepec to mm -hmm. can leave the road again. Yes. Uh, well, three three hours, three hours. Yes, okay. it's in the morning and in the evening. So just drive, driving six hours. Three three each for three morning each and yeah. Okay, that was the. It's very a very, very tired. Yes, but yeah. I'm a poor. I am necessity. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> it must it must have been awful, right? It must have been awful. But why why didn't you use your helicopter? You know. <laughs> because I have a, a scare because Kobe Bryant that and oh, I yeah. don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, right. I I I got it. You I, I advise. Okay. For no, the no, next. no, 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 don't, don't, don't say my advice because you know if something happens to that helicopter, then you're gonna say that it was my fault. Yes. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you, Ronnie. Okay. All right. Uh, I don't know, Antonio, Adriana. I can, I, I can try. I can okay. try to do it. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, for my last birthday, my wife, Kiso, uh, how do you say Kiso? Wanted. Wanted. Kiso. Wanted to. Kiso, right. My wife wanted to go to the beach. So we are in a way to La Libertad Beach. So. When, but I am, I am, how do you say cumplo años? My birthday is? My, ber my birthday is on September 15, you know, mm -hmm. and the streets are filled of uh, uh, parades. Parade, 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 a big parade. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it was horrible because uh, we had to be there around three hours and what so, disgusting because the people was you know talking uh, pitando how do you say pitando uh, uh, honk, uh, honking mm -hmm, with the horns honking, 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 honking the horns and but when we get a 
to the beach, you know, we are, it was so fabulous because I had time with my daughter and I spent time with my daughter and my wife and what's so, what's so amazing. Amazing, fabulous. yes, Th amazing and fabulous. Okay, good. So you are an independent birthday boy, right? <laughs> Independence Day. <laughs> Patricio. Yes. <laughs> He's very patriotic, right? Okay, very yeah. good. Well, you know, this is, you know, the idea of this is to put into practice all those adjectives, you know, to describe. You can see now, for example, how you can describe issues, right? Situation, not, not only to describe objects or people, right? Also, this kind of uh, adjective can, be this, uh, can describe feelings, okay? To express our feelings, uh, to express, for example, how um, abstract issue uh, is or was, or for example, or situations too, right? That, that we have that we can express and give more details, right? Give more details about those things. And as you can see also, uh, this is probably, you know, what we need the most when we try to express our ideas, right? Adjectives sometimes to be more, more descriptive, more, uh, more uh, to give more, in, to give information in detail, right? So then we need this kind of adjective and vocabulary helps a lot, right? So that's the, that's why they are very useful. Okay. And it's important to practice. Uh, whenever you write uh, something, you know, using these adjectives, then you can, we can give you a copy and, and you want to share with the class, let me know, okay? And then you can read it. If you tomorrow have an idea using these adjectives, tell me, okay, hey, hey Luis, I want to read this, or I want to tell you my story using adjectives, do it. Because this is a practice that you should have every single day because it's a vocabulary that you cannot forget. Right? So you have to practice it every day. Okay, now we're going to move now on to a new topic in which you, you will be able to, to use this kind of uh, vocabulary too. Yes, let me get it ready here. How did you like it? Well, this is a listening. Okay. Uh, Jessica, can you please read this? objective here okay oh we did this one right yes we yes did. We did it. yes we did it we did it sorry sorry wait it's the next one that you have to help me with this one okay okay lesson objective by the end of this class participants will learn to use relative clauses in order to join two ideas into one. Into one, okay. The topic that you are about to, to see, uh, I like this one because this is, if you pay attention to the description, in the video, it's, it's not, they don't give you too much information, but uh, with this kind of structures, with this kind of sentences, okay, we give more fluency to our ideas, okay? I will explain that at the end of the video. If you have questions, you let me know. And then you will see why it is important to use this kind of sentences too. Yes, let me first, let me test Hi, the sound. Hi, we have previously studied relative clauses of time. Today, we will study relative clauses using relative pronouns. Who, which, that. Okay. Were you able to listen? No problem? No, that's good. It's okay. No problem, teacher. Okay, here we go. Hi, we have previously studied relative clauses of time. Today, we'll study relative clauses using relative pronouns. Who, which, that. As you realize, these sentences contain two clauses, a main one and a relative one. For example, he is the actor who won two Academy Awards. Page 89. Exercise 9. Grammar focus. Relative clauses. Use who or that for people. He's an actor. He won two Oscars. 
He's an actor who won two Oscars. He's an actor that won two Oscars. Use which or that for things. It's a movie. It stars Kate Winslet. It's a movie which stars Kate Winslet. It's a movie that stars Kate Winslet. We want you to know what relative clauses do. They join two sentences together and give information about something in the main clause. Relative clauses are joined by relative pronouns, who, which, that. Who is used to join clauses about people. Which is used to join clauses about things. That is used to join clauses about people and things. Hope this topic wasn't so complicated. Try with these following sentences. I will give you the first part of the sentence and you finish it using a relative pronoun. Ready? Brad Pitt is an actor. Gladiator is a movie. Relative clauses are joined by relative pronouns. Okay, what are some things that you remember from the explanation that you have just listened? Relative clauses join two ideas mm -hmm. in, into one. Okay, and that's what I was telling you right before that this is, you know, uh, that gives more fluency, right, to, to your ideas, right? No, there are, for me, there are different, different kinds of fluency, right? One fluency is when you speak, okay, which is the oral fluency, right, the way that we speak sometimes, uh, not because you speak very fast, you are fluent, okay? Fluency is that you can uh, coordinate the, the words, the expressions, the feelings, and express your feelings or ideas clearly, right? That is one. And the other one is that when you use this kind of expressions like this, your English will not sound, you know, like sentences, right? For example, uh, like this one. Let me see. Or here. Like this one. He's, he's an actor. He won, uh, he won two Oscars. He lives in Italy. He plays uh, tennis. Uh, he... He uh, is a millionaire. You see, you are period, period. Can you say a sentence? Period. You say a sentence? Period. Okay, but when you say, for example, well, he is an excellent actor. You can. This is what you can use uh, the adjectives again. He's a fabulous. He's an amazing actor. Okay, who has won many Oscars, and he loves to play. Then I use and. Okay, I use a connector. And he loves to play the sports. He has become, okay, he also has become, I use also, he also has become a millionaire just by acting in two or three movies. Okay, you don't, you see, I am saying the, this, I'm giving you the same information, but it doesn't sound sentence by sentence, right? This is what I call the fluency of ideas. Okay, and just, it sounds like if it is just one sentence, right? But the thing is that you are using these connectors or these relative clauses, okay? So, this is the relative clause. What else, what, uh, what other, let's say, um, information, kind of information did you, did you uh, listen to in this video? Who is used for people? Who Which is for is people? Mm -hmm. For things, and mm -hmm. that is for both people for, and things. For people and things, okay. What else? Join two sentences together. Mm -hmm. Right. You put and you join the two sentences together so that we can have the information at once. Okay, then uh, what are some conclusions that you can make? Like uh, Adriana said that uh, who is for people, which is for things, right? And that is for both. But when do we use that or when do we use which and when do we use who? Or when do we use that, for example? 
or what is the difference? For example, it's just uh -huh. for the sentence, because if you are talking about people uh, or in reference to someone in specific, you have to use who. But if you are talking about a thing or an object, we use uh, which. Which, okay. And then and if we use that, what would be different if I use that in not who or that in not which? I use that when I talking about of uh, uh, something thing or sometimes or something occasional action for the people. The occasional word more or less for it. When you say, for example, fish, it means probably it is less formal. Okay. Okay. okay it's more, when you say that, for example, he's an actor that won two Oscars. Okay, that would be informal, and when we use who, will sound more formal. Okay, also when we use which, it will sound more formal. And when you use that, that it's going to be more formal. Okay, good. Okay. Well, basically, I guess that's the information we know that. Sorry, sorry, teacher, that is informal, and who and which is what is my, is, is, is more formal. That's correct. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so then we have, then relative closeness, they, you put two sentences together or you join the two sentences, right? Uh, we use who for people, which for objects or for things. And that in both cases, if you want to be more formal, you use who for people, you use which for things. And you know, at a less formal level, then we are going to use that. Okay, good. Let's see what else. Uh, join uh -huh, two sentences together. We have the information about something. The main clothes. Who which that? What was the other one? Which is used to join classes about things. That is used to join classes about people and things. Hope this topic wasn't so complicated. Try with these following sentences. I will give you the first part of the sentence. Okay, that's it. What about Brad Pitt? Brad Pitt is an actor. What would be he a was, compliment? Uh -huh. Was married or, with Angelina Jolie. Okay, who was married was with Angelina with, okay, this is one. Who was married with Angelina Jolie? Julie? Anybody else? Who was a star seven scenes? Who, that would be who starred. Who starred? Who starred? Seven, 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 yeah, 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 sorry. Seven scenes? La seven scenes. Seven yeah. Okay. Yes, what are you He liked to spend time with her daughter. Okay, Brad is an actor who likes Spend time. To spend time with his daughter. His daughter. Okay, good. What else about Brad Pitt? Brad Pitt is an actor who is a director. Who is a director too, right? He's an actor who is a director too. Mm -hmm. Okay, what else? More sentences. Practice vocabulary and, and the structure. Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt is an actor that is very uh, handsome. That is very handsome, okay, good. Mm -hmm. Brad Pitt is an actor who never won an uh, Oscar. Who never won an Oscar, okay. Okay, now we're using is, now you're using past. What about the future? Can we use this in the future? Brad is an actor. Uh, probably he will be uh, uh, win another Oscar. Okay, so Brad, uh, Brad Pitt is an actor who will probably mm -hmm. win. Mm -hmm. Who will probably win an Oscar someday? Okay, that could be. Okay, you see what else about 
Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt is an actor who will be soon older soon. Who will older. soon who will soon be older. Be older. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes, thank you. Yes, that's a good one. Who will soon be older. Okay, you see present, past, future, present perfect. Brad Pitt is an Brad Pitt is an actor who is an ambassador of uh, ONG. Okay, who is an ambassador of an, of an ING? Okay, that's simple present. Present perfect. Brad Pitt is an actor who has been working a lot of years okay, in that's Hollywood. Yes, uh, yes, yes, yes. That's a present perfect continuous. Very good. Who has been acting uh, in Hollywood. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Very good. Okay. Now what about this is uh, who? Now we have Gladiator. It's a movie. That's, about Gladiator? Uh -huh. That one five Oscars. Okay, that won five Oscars, right? Gladiator is a movie that won five Oscars. Gladiator is a movie which won, uh-huh. Gladiator is a movie Gladiator is a movie, repeat please, I don't know. About Ansel Roman. Okay, about yes, but that is not a, um, that is not a, a relative clause, right? It's a sentence. Gladiator is a movie about ancient Rome. Yes. Now, for example, is you can say a relative clause. Gladiator is a movie which it tells well, a story about ancient Rome. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you. What else? Anybody else? Jesse, you have one about Gladiator? Your microphone. Uh, for the Gladiator. Yes. Uh, Gladiator is a movie um, which, uh, which um, surprised Sur surprised me. Surprised me. Uh huh. Surprised me uh, about the the drama. Okay, the drama of the movie. Okay, which surprised me a lot. Okay, or oh, Gladiator is a movie which drama surprised me a lot. Okay, thank you. That's good. Gladiator is a movie in the which Oscar from participated. A Gladiator is a movie. It's a movie in the in the which Oscar from participated. Which 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 I don't hear the. Can you repeat that, George? The second which part. Which stars yeah. Russell Crowe. Okay, which stars? Yeah. Uh -huh. Which yeah. is a star? Okay, which is a star by Russell Crowe. Which is a yeah, then that is a passive voice. Okay, yeah. like here is a movie which is a star by Russell Crowe. Very good, George. Okay, Makes good. It the topic. Uh huh. Yes. No, but but if it, <laughs> uh, what I yeah, wanted yeah, to, what I wanted you to see is that uh, this uh, kind of sentences can be used not only in a. Uh, not only in one past. tense, right? Not only in uh -huh. past, not only in present. So they also they can also be used in in different tenses, right? So here, uh, and then this is a, a way to to test the ideas that you have. Okay, uh, what is another sentence that we can use now? These were two examples only. Okay, it's raining. All right. Okay, so then uh, we have what are some of the other sentences that we can use. Now, please, 
write a sentence, okay, using who and one sentence using which, okay, about anything that comes to your mind, okay, anything that comes to your mind. For example, there, are, there is one, uh, a common one, right? You say, New York is a city, is a city. Remember that? That's very common. In, uh, that never, never uh -huh. sleep. That's a, what is it, Frank Sinatra, right? In the mm. sun. So they say, New York is a city that never sleeps, or New York is a city which never sleeps. Okay. Which, okay. Uh -huh. You can also say, for example, Chalchuapa is a city that never sleeps, right? Then, uh, or you can say, for example, uh, a Tom is a guy who is always working, okay, who is always working. Uh, what else? Uh, Tony is, the, is a guy who, who is always thinking about his family. Or who is always thinking about bodies, or he always who is always thinking about learning more. Okay. Toyota is a car that never gives problems. So that, Beautiful. Yes. Okay. Then well, expensive too because a Corolla is cost. Oh yes. Nine. Thousand, nine thousand, and a half. Okay, yeah. it's unbelievable. So Toyota is a car with a car which is very expensive. Okay, so you see, there are many, many topics in which you can use this kind of. Which is it costs right, teacher? Which costs? Which, which costs? Okay, which okay, 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 okay. Huh? Okay, costs. Remember that the you're gonna use that depending on the on the subject, right? For example, uh, if you say Toyota and Honda, for, uh, just an example, Toyota and Honda are two cars, which are okay because in this case, in this case, you know you're talking about plural, which are very expensive, or which cost in that case cost a lot. Which teacher, just, just one teacher. Okay. Okay. The Pacific train is a dream which we all see very far. Very far. Okay. Which we all see, uh -huh, which we all see very far. Okay, good. Uh, Hi, teacher. Okay, go, Jesse. Maria is the person. Maria is the person who honest that I know. No. Okay, Maria is. No, that would be the most honest person that I know. Maria is the most honest person that I know. Okay. Mm -hmm. That would be that I know at the end. I don't use who. Uh-huh, you say that. Because you, yeah, you, in that case, you're going to use that. For example, uh, Maria is a person who is very honest. Yeah, it's a person. Who, who is uh -huh. honest. Very honest or honest. Maria is a person who is honest. Maria is a person who is very honest. Depends okay. On how. Okay. Anybody? Anybody else? 
Adrián? Los shorts. I, I have. Ok. Adriana, my neighbor, shorts. Okay. Sorry. my neighbor who cooks very well bring me the dinner. Brings me the dinner. Ok. My neighbor um, who cooks very well brings me the dinner. O brought me in the past. Ok. Ok. Brings me if he, if he does it every day, right? Usually. And brought me and if he did it one time in the past. Okay. Okay. All right. And the other is the computer which I use is broken. Okay, good. Thank you very much. Nice. Uh, George. What okay, teacher? George yes. Lemos. No, sorry. George Lemos. <laughs> Mendoza. George Mendoza. Okay. Okay. Uh, los churros is the road that is always there are many traffic. That is all that there is. That there is always a lot of traffic. Okay. Yeah. Always a lot yes. of traffic. Yes. It's true. <laughs> yes. As run. It's the expert. <laughs> oh, me too. But luckily today I didn't go out. Okay. George. Okay. Mendoza. What George. happened in the Vegas, in the Vegas state? Because that city is very special. Because that city, that, but that is not a, it's not a relative close in that case. That is a, a let's say, a, how do you call this? A, it's a pronoun, I, right? If I say pronoun. that. Uh -huh. yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, write another one, write another one. Okay, anybody else? Laura, Simara, Guadalupe, Laura. Okay. okay. Laura and then Roy. Okay. San Vicente is a city which is famous by delicious meat. Which is famous for the delicious meat. Yes, I heard that. Uh, similar to, to uh, Cojutepeque for the chorizos, right? And San Vicente is the meat. Yes. Okay, Ronnie. Okay. Soccer is the sport that I makes me feel good. Soccer is sport that makes me. Okay, that makes, makes me. me feel mm. that, that is a good. sad one, Ronnie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no man. but this weekend oh, we, have could, to, we have. Oh, to. you could say that, man. That moment. This moment. <laughs> Yes, I I miss the play. <laughs> no, but this this weekend we have three games, right? Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yes, yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah. But, Finally. but I but I no say uh, watch the TV and the play. So, I'll play, okay? Yes, yes, no, that's true. Yes, yes I I prefer playing than yes, I prefer than watching. Yes, that's true. Okay, anybody else? Jaime. Okay, go Jaime. El Salvador is a country which is located between rivers. Excellent, excellent. Yes, which is located between two rivers, right? Yes. The, okay. This one is, um, okay, good, good. Who else, who else? Me. Okay, well, look at Okay. Uh, Michael Kurtz is a person who knows very well Fashion design. Okay, good. My fashion, Michael Kurz. Kurz, yes. Kurz, okay, Kurz. He's a person who knows very well about fashion. Okay, <laughs> who knows a lot about fashion. Okay, good. Who else? Teacher. Yes. Better Call Saul is a series which is based on Breaking Bad. Which is based. Uh -huh, which is based. Based, sorry. Based yeah. on Breaking Bad. Okay, good. All right, Xiomara, Jonathan, okay, Xiomara uh, and then Jonathan. Okay, my mom is a good cooker who has good taste. Okay, my mom is a good cook who has good taste. Very good, nice. Okay, do you have another one? Teacher? Um, oh, Roberto, but just Jonathan and then Roberto. What is Jonathan? Okay. I lost Jonathan. Okay, teacher. I have one. Okay, here. okay go, Jonathan. But I don't know how you say recalentar. Heat. Reheat. 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 Okay. Uh -huh. okay, okay. Okay, it's, it's a topic from computer. Uh, okay. I'm, 
AMD is a processor that always has been discriminated because it's reheated. Okay, it's over, over. So that cake is oh. over. Over, ah. Oh. Uh, overheat is in the yeah. food, right? Because if you see Okay, it, uh, okay, okay, overheat. Yeah. Overheat, yeah. yeah. It mean, gets more hot, hotter yeah. than, than normal. Okay, good. You're, you're okay. talking about AMD, right, Jonathan? Yeah, A AMD. Okay. But now, it's not true. It's the best for gamers. Yeah, with the uh, Radeo, Radeo graphics, it's amazing. Yeah, it's amazing, yeah. <laughs> the, the orders. Okay, NBA, all right, guys, NBA keep on talking NBA. about gamers. <laughs> 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 no, that's good. Do you good. know Call of Duty? <laughs> Call of Duty. Okay, <laughs> good. Okay, Roberto. Okay, I don't know if he's that correct, but El Salvador is a place which burned the pupusas. Which... Uh, no, uh, that would be where, mm. where the pupusas, born, where the pupusas, uh -huh, where, but there are two, I mean, where the pupusas were born, okay, where the pupusas were born, uh -huh. okay. okay, because it's a place, yeah, mm -hmm. okay, it's correct, but in uh, using a different, Different way. Connector, yes. Uh -huh. Where the okay. pieces were born. Okay, good, good. It's, it's all, uh, they, it's, it's a, but, uh, but when we talk about closes, there are like, oh, I don't know, like 15 different kinds of closes. Right, so but teacher, this, this is, topic is, is for talking about more, more polite, right? I yes, think. Yes, more polite, as I told you, more uh, to give you fluency and ideas. Oh, okay. And in okay, this moment, okay. if you see, we're just practicing who and which. But for example, okay. the example, uh, but uh, the example that over is giving us is also correct, but it's a different kind of clothes, okay? And it has okay. a different name. Because if you okay. see in this one, you are not using a subject after who. For example, uh, you say El Salvador is a country which is, Okay, which is recognized by which, which by the substitutes, uh -huh, which is recognized by by, uh -huh, by the by pupusas, okay, okay. Uh, or which is famous for the pupusas, right? But okay. you don't see uh, another subject, for example. But in the case uh, Roberto says is for, uh, he said Salvador is a country where the pupusas is the other subject of the other sentence. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, so but in this other case, in the case that we're practicing at this moment. Which, El Salvador is, is a country which is uh, re recognized by recognized. the Maras. Also, uh -huh. well, we can say that. Also. It's a, it's yes, a uh, awful, uh, awful topic, but. <laughs> yes, it's a negative way to, to, to do that, <laughs> but it's true. It's a, it's a real. Okay, very good. Anybody else? Me, teacher. Erika and then Jorge Luis. Thank you. Yes. Sorry. My name is a beer farm which was a big van. Okay, repeat again to the beginning, please. Wait. Okay. My mom is a beer fan which was a big van. My, my mom is, is a fan. Of what? Beatles. Beatles. Oh, the Beatles. Okay, of the Beatles. Okay, of the Beatles. Beatles, Beatles. Beatles. Okay, the Beatles yeah. band, which was uh -huh. a big band. Which was a big, uh -huh, which was a big band, which was a great band. Yes. It's correct. Yes. But your corner is. And, and the other se sentence <laughs> is, my sister is excellent singer, who has been practicing very much. Yes, my sister is an excellent one. Okay, mm -hmm. and then an excellent singer who has been practicing very much. Very much. That's good. Excellent. Yep. Okay, Jorge Luis. Okay, the book that I read, I read last week is very interesting. Okay, the book that I read last last week, last week is very interesting. Uh, the book which I read or that I read. Okay. The, this one is similar to, to Roberto's, right? It's, it's a, 
Relate is a is a close, but it has two subjects, right? The book that I read, the book that I saw. Okay, I'll show you a little bit more about it later about other closes. Okay. I didn't want to bring more examples because first I want you to get this idea, and then after I can give you some other some other closes, right? Okay, what else? One more. Me teacher. Uh, okay, Beatriz, yes, Beatriz, tell me. Julio. My best friend is a person who always help you. Who always help you. Okay, good. Okay. Suchitoto is a beautiful city which you can visit all the time. Which you can visit all the time. Okay, good. Julio. Hello, teacher. Go ahead. Tell me a sentence. Uh, Leonardo DiCaprio is an actor who works with Tarantino. Okay. Yes, only, 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 only that one. Okay, yes. Leonardo <laughs> DiCaprio is an actor who works with Tarantino. Okay, very good. Uh, Jessica, do you have one? Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. My friend is a writer who wants to win something. Okay, good. And One. the other, um, pay the old chair. Wish, um, no, oh yeah, yeah. Wish sounds like a door when someone sits down. Okay, wait, wait. Uh, repeat the second. Pay. Okay, pay the old chair. Wish sounds like a door when someone sits, sits down. It so, uh, sounds a door. Sounds like a door, yeah. Okay, sounds like, like a door when someone's... <laughs> okay, I got it now. <laughs> okay, no, it's preaches a lot, right? Okay, good. Then, uh, who else? Oh, Jose Armando. Jose Armando. Yes, teacher. Okay, tell me a sentence. In pass. Any, any tense, it doesn't matter. Okay. Mm, I saw a cat. I saw? A cat. A cat? Which? Oh. Which? Uh, which? His beautiful, it beautiful eyes. Which, okay, which had beautiful eyes. I saw uh -huh. a cat which had beautiful eyes. Okay, yeah, usually cats have nice colors in their eyes. Teacher. Yeah. Talk, <laughs> yes, thank talking you. About, talk, sorry, talking yes. about animals, we can say, uh, <laughs> I risk I rescue a dog, which I call it uh, Lucas, for example. Uh huh. Which, which, which is I called? Ah, call oh, which I, which I name, which I call, uh, Lucas. Okay. Yeah. That, uh, that is that is the I right way to say that. Okay. Call it. Lo llamé. Call. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Or name. Mm -hmm. Yes, you say. Teacher. Uh, the swimming is the sport which most exciting when my child, when my boy participo? participates. Participates. Um, swimming is the most. The no. no, because swimming. In that case, swimming is the most exciting sport when my son participates. But that would be when, mm -hmm. okay. For example, uh, you can say, for example, uh, swimming, because in this case, you are mixing two different ideas. One, you're saying that swimming is nice, okay, it's, it's, uh, it's the, uh, the most exciting you said, right? Yeah. And then, and why or when, when your son participates. So the idea here is that you talk about the the first, uh, the first information that you have in the first sentence. If you're talking about swimming, you say, with swimming, 
is the most exciting sport. Okay, and say, or you can say, for example, uh, I like swimming, which is a very exciting sport. But only about swimming. Now, after that, you can add, especially when my son participates. Okay? okay. Swimming, swimming. I like swimming, which is a very nice sport, especially when my son participates. And that will make a whole sentence. For give okay. it uh, an adjective, right? Swimming yes. is a, uh, which is a, uh, right? Uh, what, Eric? Okay, you, you are, you are in the sentence that you say, you say swimming, swimming is, is, uh -huh. is uh, great. It's an exciting sport. It's an, it's an, it's an, which is an exciting sport, right? You are giving, you are giving. No, 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 I said I like, adjective. I say I like swimming. Which is, uh, which is an exciting, uh -huh, okay. or, or, uh, an exciting sport. Sport, okay. okay. Yes, especially when my son participates. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes, you know, these uh, ideas can sound uh, complicated, but it's good that you try to express them because that's what you need. You, know? you need to say what you think in English. Okay, know what the platform says or what Luis says, right? I mean, it's what you really need to express. Okay, so that's why I like this kind of example. Okay, good. Anybody else? Me, teacher. Okay, Sergio. Okay. There were many spy stories happened in Cold War which have been exposed in recent years. Okay, which have been. Okay, if you see which have okay. been, what has been exposed in recent years? Which have spy, been. Uh, no, huh? yes, no, you're, you're correct. Which have been exposed okay. in these recent years is the stories. Repeat the sentence, yes. please, uh, Sergio. Uh, there were many spy stories happened in Cold okay. War. Stop there, right? There were many spy stories, okay, that happened in Cold War. Okay, this is the main information. Okay, and the extra thing that you say, which have, which been, have been exposed, exposed in, recent in recent years. In recent years. Okay, in that moment, people didn't know, but now people, knows, uh, people know sorry, about these uh, stories because they were discovered and exposed to the public. Okay, so you see, it's the same idea. But in first one, mm -hmm. you're given information and then is the complement of that same idea. That's why you don't have two subjects. You only have one. One subject, yes. Uh-huh, only one subject, the one at the beginning. Okay? Okay. Good, thank you. And Michael mm -hmm. Jordan was a basketball player who always played with great performance. Okay, so all the information is about uh, Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay, anybody else? I have one sentence. Okay, Guadalupe. El Salvador is a country which you can find friendly people. Um, that one you can say in which. In which. In you which can find, uh -huh. you can find. Uh -huh, in which you can find. Because that would be like where. Where you can okay. find. Uh -huh, where you can oh, find, okay. okay, friendly people, right? Okay, now for example, El Salvador, eh, El Salvador's people who are very, okay, who are very friendly, is a nice place to visit. Okay. Okay, thank you. Good. All right. Sí. Yes, Jaime. No. Anybody else? Who's missing? Okay. Me, teacher. Okay, Kevin. Okay, the girl who is playing the guitar is my my best friend. Okay, the guy who is playing my guitar is my best friend. Okay, good. Who else? I have another teacher. Okay, good, good, go ahead. The United States is the country that has the highest number of COVID-19 infections. Wow, okay, good. That's uh, updated, updated information, right? Yes. Yes, okay. I agree. 
And you're I, talking about just the United States, and the topic is the instructions about the COVID. COVID. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Anybody else? Teacher, how do you say partido político? Political party. Okay, okay. Arena and FMLN is uh, are a political party which all will see disappear in a few years. Um, okay, Arena and FMLN are two political parties which, which uh, all will will see disappear in a few years. Then in that case, yeah, which will disappear, probably disappear, disappear. Uh -huh, or will, if you want to, uh, to be very, if you want to be very sure about it, they say who will disappear in a few years. Oh, okay, okay. Or okay. which we, uh, which, let me see, which will be, no, yeah, Death. Saying, Death. no, no. <laughs> which, which will disappear, which will disappear in a few years. Okay, okay. That would be, without, we all see. Mm -hmm. Without, oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay. What else? What else, what else, what else? One more before we go. Okay, one more, one more. Roberto. Yes, okay, you. Yes. you, yeah. you, you. <laughs> I'm a person who really likes chocolate. And it was the dog that chased the cat. It was? The, the dog? dog that chased the cat. It was the dog that chased the cat. Okay, it was not, it was not a crocodile. No. Okay, good. <laughs> Yesenia, you have another one? Try. Try, um... The... The... The Vegas is the city uh, which saves secret. Which, which one? The Vegas is the city which saves secrets. Which saves secrets. Okay. Hey. But, um, what do you say? Save, I think. No, save. no, save, yes. No. Okay, okay, but sorry. sorry. Yes, it's city that saves secrets. Yes. Okay, very good. Thank you. Okay, everyone. Okay, for tomorrow we have a, a closes. We'll see. Uh, don't forget to uh, to complete all the platform exercises, right? The knowledge checks and the in the test. They they sent uh, an email today from from the office to all the teachers, right? To to remind you, right, about the the exams and everything to complete all the exercises. Uh, remember that right now you can al we already cover the material for this unit. You can answer it, and then uh, this this week we're gonna be finishing section four, and next week the section five. Okay, two more weeks, and we're done. Seven seven more classes. Okay, so have a good night, sure. and see you tomorrow at the same time. Okay. Have a good rest, everybody. Okay, thank sure. You. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. I'm sorry. Take care. Bye. Bye. Good night. We'll class the next Bye. Wednesday. Uh, next Wednesday, um, I guess because they haven't said anything, but let me ask. Let me ask uh, tomorrow. Okay, because it's a national holiday, right? Yes. Yes. Right. yes. Okay. Father's uh, Day. Yes, I know. But let me find out just to make it official, and I tell you tomorrow. Okay. 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 Thank, you. Bye -bye. thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.